This here is the finished product of the old quarry where my father and grandfather and myself um, blew metal out of here and carted it away in trucks and loaded onto trucks. So that quarry height was way up there, way up there, which came right round here behind us, up here. There's the top of the quarry there where my father started cleaning off the top. Then we, um, and all this metal was carted out by trucks and loaded by loaders and put out onto the council roads around Welshford. It must have been about uh, 25 years to get the old quarry done and then another I think they gave us another three to open this end up. And I started work out there in 57, 1957. I was old enough to work there, probably about 18. I think the locals had taken a few metres out, just, you know, just burrowed a little bit out of the hill. But that's when it started as a proper quarry. And of course, at that stage, they were building new roads here, there and everywhere that were, that were requiring metal. It suddenly became a big demand for metal. Dad was the quarry manager from when the council got serious about it. And then when he retired, they uh, presented me with the job and uh, I just stuck at it until the quarry finished. I was 17 years old when I went in there, and I think that was the same age as my father. Before I started there, when I was younger on school holidays, they parked the vehicles at the main gate, and the men were in there putting the wires in for the explosives, and we had to run back to the vehicles, and the rocks actually made it back to the vehicles, and we were climbing underneath them so we didn't get hit. And I can sort of remember that pretty clearly from a young fellow. The uh, quarryman is standing down here and boring straight in. And he might bore in uh, 10 metres or whatever and fill that up with explosives and it blows the chunk off the cliff and then they quarry that out and he drills in again. And a lot of hard work. The first jobs I can remember doing was uh, feeding a crusher. Standing up on a big machine and making the rocks go down and get crushed in the road metal. But later when they wanted to move up and get into the quarry properly, um, by then I was driving the council bulldozer and that's why I got stuck on top to drive that bulldozer. Which was a bit scary I might tell you for a start. <laughs> but that one gives you a bit of an idea of the height. It's a hell of a long way from there down to those car park. It took about a day to get a, make a track to get up there, chiseling through the rock and, and through the rubbish. Eventually got on top and then pushed all the, uh, all the weeds that were on top, pushed them all off and only the soft stuff came off, pushed over with a bulldozer. And then after that it was all um, drilling and blasting with gelignite. Yeah, it came down in three levels, I think it was, because you're only allowed to have a quarry face so high. So that, at that level they drilled it and fired the shots and then carted the metal away. When that was done they go down another level. Yeah, well that was going down the first level. That's probably about... Uh, 25 metres from that loader there, up to that bulldozer. Yeah, probably my dad's on the loader. 
You know, I'm in the bulldozer on the top. That's where the water is now. We used to think it was quite good. You stand up there feeding the crusher and look at the seagulls and the birds grabbing fish. And <laughs> yeah, it was quite a lot to look at while you're feeding the crusher. There's other quarries, there's just a hole in the hill. They wanted it to be just shut down and clear out, which were, what would it be now? Pampas bushes and gorse. And I uh, pretty much against that. So I came up with this model, took it to the council. So they said, yeah, you can have a couple or three years or whatever it takes to get it down into something a bit useful. When I started, that's about where it was when I got there. So when that was low tide, all that was still rock in there, right up to that height. The floor was at this level, right across, right around here. Um, we, it was all hard rock that we had to drill with explosives and, and take down. Which my grandfather and my father had been there for quite a few years. I started there in 1987 and then we took it right down to how it is now and it's become a nice little beach and water there for the little kids to swim in where it's safe. All the sand has come in now and turned it into a beach because when we finished it was just hard rock and now it's looking pretty good for the kids. This was the original quarry floor and we left it purposely to make it create tracks for visitors to walk around and Look at the scenery. All the, uh, all the faces were just plain bare rock. So we got the temporary employment um, people, younger people that didn't have a job. They came and planted little putakawas and a lot of flax. And, uh, that's what it's turning into. It's quite a pleasure, really, because uh, it doesn't look like it's been an old quarry at all. It's quite pleasing, really. We just had a crazy idea in our heads that we didn't want to leave it as an abandoned quarry, which has actually turned out quite well. It's actually developing into something quite nice.